Hello everyone, this is Coach Sully with Sessions with Sully. I promised you a follow-on story with Clint from our workout video that has been previously posted. I met Clint uh, back in September. I've been working with him uh, three days a week uh, since then. Um, about a year and a half ago, Clint was involved in a really, really traumatic, horrific uh, motor vehicle accident. Uh, he was put in the hospital for some time. He <clears throat> has had balance issues, uh, some of his injuries. Um, his uh, aorta, which is probably the strongest blood vessel in our body, uh, was ruptured and had to be completely stitched back together. Um, had uh, some tears in his spleen, had to be uh, operated on, um, had a severe concussion, a traumatic brain injury, um, broke his wrist in uh, several locations, has screws and, and bolts holding that together. Um, in uh, one of his legs, he's got a rod holding his um, rod and screws, holding his uh, ankle and shin together. Um, and I was just really amazed at this story when uh, I met him and the troubles that he's had with his recovery. Um, I would just say, I don't know what hospital he went to, but they didn't do him any justice. They said, okay, you can, you're up and walking. Uh, you can hold things now. You can write, uh, see you later, uh, without any other guidance, but Hey, you know what? You just need to go be a member of the gym. Uh, from that point, he pretty much was immobile, um, inactive physical, you know, physical activity was practically zero. Just maybe the day-to-day -day stuff of getting out of his chair, maybe going to the grocery store uh, to get up to go to the uh, table and shower and stuff like that. Uh, he's been out of work uh, for the past year and a half because of his injuries, and he's trying to get back into it. But um, I was just really amazed at the lack of care that he had, uh, especially with his fitness and, and therapy. So I took on Clint as a client. Um and since September, Clint has gained probably about 75% mobility in his knees. He couldn't pat, he couldn't squat past 90 degrees with outload, and now he's he's squatting um, probably close to about 135 pounds now. In uh, since September, and and full depth, uh, past 90 degrees, no issues. Um, cardiovascular wise, with his heart, I wanted to take it slow and easy build up his cardiovascular strength and uh, cardio respiratory strength. And uh, we started slow with some uh, treadmill work where he could barely walk, you know, five minutes at low intensity without getting winded. Um, now he's doing full blown Metcons with me at the end of a intensive strength training workout. Um, his strength has increased probably overall a uh, good 75 to 85% uh, since I've been working with him. He's getting stronger every day. He's getting more fit every day. He's getting more mobile every day. His flexibility, his range of motion has just increased so much. Um, and I've just been really, really grateful that uh, I've had the opportunity to work with Clint. Clint's a really nice guy. Uh, somebody that, you know, started out as a client I, I see now as uh, somebody I can confide in and, and as a friend. So, Clint, uh, good work out there. Um, I just want to get this story out to let people know. Um, what you've gone through, um, what you're still continuing to go through, and the progress that we're making. So if you want more stories like this with Sessions with Sully, claw over that like button, claw over that subscribe button. And uh, as always, with fitness, don't be afraid to get stupid.